despite being months removed from Henry Cavill's shocking announcement that he was leaving his role as The Witcher, that season three would be his last season as Geralt. And all, of course, all of the backlash that followed that news. So many people that were just sticking around simply for him decided, I am done with this series. And then more was revealed that the writers actually had no desire to stick true to the source material. All they wanted to do was to continue pushing Henry Cavill back and back and back and instead uplift all of the women and push more diversity and identity politics in The Witcher. Well, even with being months removed from all of that, it didn't change the fact that that backlash was still very, very strong when they came out. When Netflix came out with the official teaser trailer, it got destroyed. You can see the numbers. Three million views about. 328,000 people disliked this compared to 64,000 likes. It got massacred. And the comments were exactly what you would expect criticizing Netflix for not following the lore, for instead relying on their writers, their activist writers who wanted to change the lore instead of listening to Henry Cavill. Well, then what did we see? We saw The Witcher Blood Origin, where it seemed like they were far more interested once again in pushing identity politics and diversity than they were in telling a great story or one that had anything to do with the lore of The Witcher. After all that, we're now getting a little bit more information as to maybe why this was happening. Netflix reveals over 60% of their catalog led by women, proving Hollywood values ideology over art. And yes, indeed, Netflix was very happy to announce that they're one of the most diverse entertainment companies out there, that that's really what they're concerned with. Netflix and USC Anberg content study reveals more than half of the streamers' film and TV series are led by women. The second USC Anberg Inclusion Initiative report on the streamer's scripted content also found that while non-white leading characters on screen are underrepresented and they're increasing, women of color and characters with disabilities are still invisible in scripted film and television. If by invisible you mean, if by invisible you mean this, breaking things down even further, the study also found that in the same period, Nearly a third of the streamer's films, 27%, and more than half of its series, 54%, were either led or co-led by women of color. Of course, this is one of those studies where they sit there, they're like, how many black people did you have? How many gay people did you have? If it's not the right number, then we're going to ding you and say you're not diverse enough. But Netflix is pretty comfortable with where they're at. You know, maybe this is one of the reasons you were seeing this push to sideline Henry Cavill, because this is an agenda at Netflix and, of course, Hollywood in general. They don't care about storytelling. They don't care about compelling characters. All they care about are the color of the skin of those characters. They don't care if they race swap. They don't care if they gender swap. They don't care if they do this. They need more women. They need more diversity. They need more gay people. That's what Netflix is all about. They're even bragging about that by partnering with you know, USC Anberg in this new study. Maybe that's why they decided to push Henry Cavill away because he was putting up too much of a fight. He wanted them to actually stay true to the lore of The Witcher. He actually wanted them to do the right thing to make entertaining content that rewarded the audience, that rewarded the fans. Well, that's not Netflix's MO anymore. That's not something they were interested in. And they decided they were gonna push and push and push until he eventually left. Well, we've seen how that worked out for them. We've seen how that worked out for them here as well. And one can only imagine the backlash that still awaits them when Henry Cavill no longer is in the role. Because keep in mind, they've recasted him as Liam Hemsworth. If those series actually go into production, if they ever see the light of day, only imagine the hell that the fans are going to rain down on Netflix. But it looks like there's way more thought process behind these decisions than maybe some people initially thought.